Hello Blenderheads, my name is Ole Blitch and speaking to you from Buenos Aires, Argentina. In this quick video tutorial we are going to see different ways to select by root objects and by root uh, options or properties. So we are going to quickly start with this. We have this um, sort of uh, lot of cubes that I did using a known technique that were posted on Blender Artist using remesh and dupli groups but that is not the important thing. The important thing here is how can I do to manage different ways to select uh, these objects uh, by groups? Well we have many different options and we're going to see some of them. One of them is this. If you hit Shift G, as you can see here, also you can go to down here select, this is the 3D view board, select by grouped, you have many different options to select by grouped or by a link. We're going to, uh, we're going to see this in a moment. So in this, uh, in this particular, particular uh, situation I'm going to select shift G and select by color and you can see now here that not only the blue, the blue blocks are selected, also the dark red and the gray one were selected too and you may say hey hey but these are all different colors well this the this option doesn't uh, is not talking about the color of the object the color of the object is being given by the material uh, more specifically well this is blending internal so it's going to be the diffuse, diffuse color but uh, this whoop, uh, uh, color uh, group it's referring to the object color so if I select the this uh, red one the blue one the gray one we can see all all these uh, objects has a, a blue color assigned to it if I select this one it doesn't have it so how I managed to uh, set the color for all these uh, objects all these independent objects well I select uh, several of them I set the color that I want you can imagine that we have many 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 uh, groups to to generate, to set up, because we are having a lot of colors many of them, I don't know how many, millions and uh, so we're going to set this color and you can see that uh, the color doesn't change on the other objects, only on the active one so I'm going to select all, all, all again, we're going to change the color and we are going to use this uh, tiny and very useful option that is called copy to selected if I do right click, I am going to get this uh, contextual menu and we're going to set uh, to see this option copy to selected and this will copy the property of the active object, in this case uh, this one, to the all other objects in selection. This is what is called uh, what it is uh, copy to selected. So in this way you can set up, set up different groups uh, of selection using this object color property inside the um, type active data well this <laughs> panel here the object data uh, the object data full stop definitely that <laughs> there you go but we have many many more uh, different ways to do uh, to select we have as you can see here that we have a lot we're going to be watching this many of these in, in a second but if I hit shift L or uh, if we go to select a linked we're going to select by group, but in a little different way. This menu, uh, it uh, pops pops out because it's talking about the information linked among objects, materials, textures, polygroups, particle systems, libraries, uh, or object data, which are the instances. If I select this object, I edit it, and you can see that all the objects in this color are changing. This is because all of them are using the same geometry data, 56 to be exact. So if I hit Shift L, linked, select linked, I can select all of them by the uh, instance data. Also by material, because all of them are using the same material, maybe independent, but but if they are using the same material, we are going to select it. All the group as well. Uh, textures, I don't have any setup, but you can use that uh, too. Polygroups, particle system, library, library of object data. 
so these are the different options on the link on select by linked okay now we're going to we're going to see the rest of these ones which are a, a lot but we're going to quickly see it because I don't want to do a, a really long video first we're going to see the ones that I can show you with this example okay we're going to we're not going to go in order because I have other scenes set up to this but I have some um, tricky ones to to work with one of the tricky ones are this one properties e the first time I go into this I thought it was the data properties or the object property custom property sorry but no this option refers to game uh, game logic properties so if I open here I open this one on logic editor and I found this by accident because I never use and he mentioned I use I used to use more for rendering and production for uh, advertisement no to to do interactive interactive uh, stuff I found this you have here for each object a table of properties for the game engine a game property so if now I hit shift she and select by properties you can see that I selected these three blocks because I select one I generate a property this property is called uno uno it's one in, in Spanish and all these uh, three blocks has also a property uh, a single property called also uno so if I select this one and select by property you can see that every single block that's, that has uno <laughs> now it has named right it's being named right it's now selected the next one that I'm going to show you with this uh, model it's grouped and group is a very very uh, important one because groups are a, a very important tool inside Blender it's, it are meant to to be used for copy things, for instance things, uh, linked, um, selection, uh, I don't know, lot of things. Uh, in this case, it's also it can, it can be also used to set up um, group groups of objects to be selected, or selection sets. If we can, if you if you want to call it in a in a max 3ds, 3DS max language. So if you select an object, you are going to see that you have this panel called groups. Okay, we're going to close this window here. And uh, inside this panel called uh, groups, I have already set up this uh, group called objetos. That if we go to select by group, ping, select all the objects, all objetos, all the objects. I done. And that has uh, the same uh, that group assigned. So I select any of these objects and I select, uh, as you can see, we have the group objects. But also in this case, I have set, I have set another group called middle. This is in Spanish because I recorded uh, a few weeks ago this same uh, explanation in Spanish. So if you are watching this video in English and you want to see it in Spanish, you can also find it in my channel. So, in this case, when we have selected uh, assigned two groups to an object, we can do shift C uh, by group, and we are going to s to uh, uh, an option is going to pop up to select which group we want to select. So, in this case, we have this group middle assigned. How to set? How did I to say? How did I do to set up this group? Well, that is quite quite simple. Please, uh, please, please select <laughs> first. Select a group of, of objects, and then go to object, and here you can find create new group or control G. And this will create a new group called group. Down here in the property, <clears throat> in the operator property panel, which pops every time that you use an operator, you can set up the name like and um, back because it's at the back of the object 
So in this, so now we can see that we have two uh, groups assigned to all these objects. There is a little bit uh, difference with the color I lose the color what are you transform lock groups display there is a little bit of difference with colors because uh, as you can see as you as you saw at the beginning as I set all the colors by copy to selected one but in this case groups are assigned to all the objects in the selection so you don't have to do that copy to selected stuff if you are grouping objects just go uh, just a uh, Press Ctrl G and all the objects in the selection are going to be assigned to the new group that you are created. creating. There are also other options to assign group to other groups, but we are going to leave that for another tutorial. Okay, again, now we have this assigned with both groups. We just select Shift G, group, select the group, and there we have it. Okay, you that way, this way you can select. Uh, by group, assigned by color, by mat by link material shift L, or by link by link data. We're going to see quickly see the rest of the options. As you can see here, we have this uh, sort of uh, parent uh, tree, okay, uh, metaball and shapes. So we're going to quickly go through the other options of shift C the select grouped. We have children. Okay, this is simple. You have a parent, children, select every children in the um, in the tree. Okay. Next, immediate children. Only select the children immediately connected to the parent. You can see that this one down here are not selected with this option. But, think, but if I select children, all the children uh, on the tree are selected uh, below the, the, the select object. This is the difference between immediate children and parent. Uh, siblings, as you can see here, look, are relatives to the same uh, object, parented to the same object. Siblings, not much complicated. This is, it is, it's a bit more difficult to explain in Spanish because uh, it's not a, a common word to hear, but in English I think it's, it's quite understandable. Type is also very, very obvious. Uh, I select by type, I select all the geometry type because these planes are geometry. And uh, nor the metaball shapes or empties are selected. If I select by type the empties, you can see here that I selected the empties. A shape, shift sheet by type, only shapes. Okay, this is by type of object. Shapes, uh, empties, lamps. If you don't remember well which ones are the type of objects in save blender, shows hit shift A to add menu add or go to down to the down here on the viewport and add and these ones are the objects the type objects that you can find inside blender mesh curve surface metaball text armature lattice empty speaker camera lamps and groups Woo. this is going too fast to furious layer Okay, this one may sound tricky, but it is not. You can, if you can, if you know how to use these layers down here, these render layer options, which are 20, uh, this is quite simple. If you, ha if you are selecting an object inside a layer, you can look, I can zoom down here, but it is um, this little gray spot is going to turn, it's, it's turned yellow when some object is selected on the layer when you have selected an object on set on certain layer shift she by layer group select root by layer selects all the objects on that layer but not in the rest uh, of the layers that are turned on as you can see here that and these three objects are on the layer below and this one on the layer three and if I select by layer and select all the objects in layer 3. Nice and simple. Grouped, we just saw uh, a moment ago. It's to select by groups. Ctrl G, Ctrl G, Shift G, to groups. Select this one. Next one, hooks. 
and here are the hooks. If you select an object, a rig object, a rig object that usually rig has hooks attached to it or something else, you can uh, hit shift she and select by hook and select the hooks attached or connected to that object. Remember that a, a hook is something that you uh, assign, selecting a vertex or a face, Control H, assign to new hook, and this hook will move the vertex that you have previously selected. It's some sort of um, a powering to a external, external object using a modifier. Another thing to another tutorial, but it's um, really really useful uh, on several server bricks and to deform uh, simple things and it could be some way uh, useful to know that you can select all the hooks on your object by group. Okay, next one, pass. Um, I really forget about this one. Uh, pass index. Display. Where was this? Okay, I forgot where was this option. I really had to study more before doing this. Relation system pass index. Here we have it. Now we have select this by pass. You can see that all the objects are selected because by default all the object all the objects has a pass index of zero. But in this case, if I do the same with this one object, you can see that the pass index index of the, this object is one, and the this one is also one. And if we can do something like this one, that like this, like assign a path, pass index of 33, we can do the same of before with the color, a copy to selected, and then all these three are going to have a pass index of 33. What is a pass index? Uh, well, when you are rendering, you can uh, render to, I want to really, really quickly go through this. Uh, anyway, uh, a pass called index number one, object index, and this way is going to render an object and a, and a black and white up uh, a black and white um, image, a float image, where you can use which you can use using a special node inside the node editor to separate or or generate a mask, a black and white mask, to do a, some kind of composition, masking or special or special effects. At Totally, totally different uh, tutorial, separated, uh, um, a separated topic. So it's going to be a bit more complicated to explain, but that is for another occasion. Um, color. We talk a lot about it, about, a lot about that, uh, a few minutes ago. Actually, 18 minutes ago. Do this almost 20 minutes long. <sighs> Time flies when you when someone speak fast in another language properties we have we are already talking about this these are the game properties key insets if you have a sign in this case not but if you are have a sign some custom key inset which are another topic to another totally different tutorial because it's a long thing to to explain um you can select by key inset e land types that which I don't have no one here, but we're going to create this one and some thing, thing, and select by lamp type. It's more or less like by type of object, but only with uh, the different lamp types. I think the only last option that I need to mention is that if you select something like children, you may notice that the parent it's, it was deselected. Well, this is because it tends to, when you use this option to select root, it tends to switch the selection. But if you have a single object that you want to keep selected when you do something like children selection, you can do it and then uh, activate extend and extend will keep the previous selection when you select by root and uh, this is not only for the object that is going it, that is acting as um, the conditional object to 
assign the selection but to any other object on that selection too if I do something like layer you can see that selects all the objects on the layer and keep and keep the other object that I have a previous selected this extend is like okay keep all the selection that I had and select now this one so more or less uh, it's more more than less uh, these are the different ways to select by group and some of the techniques and tips to use them select by group and by linked and select by pattern is one interesting but I'm not going to test it <laughs> right here because it might crash I it's a long time since the last time I tested so I'm not going to do it but it was a nice checker paddle pattern so if, I want, if you want to try it uh, using innate mode it's interesting so thank you very much for listening and uh, I hope you like it and see you soon happy blending people bye